morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 60 Six Day Challenge 7.0. And today is day 35. So yesterday we introduced you to the reports applet and we talked about the metrics that you can glean from that applet, including your database health score. Today we're going to get into some goal setting using the reports applet. So let's go ahead and dive in. Again, eighth icon down, a little bar chart line graph here. We're going to open that up. And we're going to come over to the third tab, which is our goals tab. Now you see when we open this tab in this demo account, it's going to tell us, hey, you haven't set your goals for 2022. And while I would agree that the year is not over yet, and there's still some production that you might be able to squeeze out, uh, setting goals now for 2022 might be a little bit behind. So we're going to come over to the drop down where it shows 2022 goals, and we're going to select 2023. Right now, you're going to see that nothing has been filled out below because we have not yet set these goals. So the first thing that we're going to do, again, all things come in. We want to start something new. There's always a blue button. Goal setting is no different. Let's click on the goal setting button here to set our 2023 goals. <clears throat> when we do that, we're taken into what's called a Kelly guide that's going to allow us to set our goals and then review them. So let's go ahead and get started. And on the left hand side, we have our inputs. So this is where we can actually enter the numbers that we want to be impacted with regards to our goals. On the right hand side, it kind of shows you how that all breaks down. So the first question it says is what year are you setting them for? So we're setting them for 2023. Next, it's gonna say, what do you want to profit? So this is how much you make kind of in your pocket after you've paid your expenses and your cost of sale. Uh, doesn't include taxes. We don't incorporate taxes into the goal setting module because it's different for every individual. Uh, but this is before taxes. What do you want to profit? Most agents I know are always a big fan of that number 100,000. So we're going to go ahead and enter that number. So that would be our profit goal. And you can see that broken down here on the right hand side by 12. Your profit goal would be 8,333. Because we haven't entered any expenses or cost of sale over here, you can see that essentially we need to make 100,000 in GCI in order to profit 100,000. However, we know that being a real estate agent comes with some costs, so let's talk about those. Cost of sales. This is typically um, amounts that we are charged based upon the closing of a transaction. So the first two that are pretty uh, self-explanatory and applicable to all KW agents is going to be both your royalty and then your company dollar that you were charged by your market center. Uh, the company dollar amount differs both based upon the percentage and the total amount that you're expected to pay to your market center. Uh, royalty is pretty universal. That's typically taken out at an amount of 6% up to $3,000. So I'm going to put in, um, I'm going to assume that based upon $100,000 in profit that the GCI goal you need to make will allow you to uh, be pretty close to capping. So we're going to go ahead and put in cost of sales of 21,000 in this amount. Now this may differ again by market center. Talk to your market center leadership for a good idea of what you should consider putting in that amount. And then expenses. So how much does it cost for me to run my business? And there's a lot of things that you may want to consider. How much are listing photography going to take? How much marketing are you doing? Do you have an office? Um, you know, are you paying for gas? All of those are different types of expenses. There's actually a full MREA chart of accounts. Um, if you go to Keller Inc., that's actually our uh, publishing website for uh, Keller Williams. They have some great resources there. I highly recommend those. So let's just say <clears throat> on average, I'm gonna spend roughly, um, I don't know, let's go with probably a, an overestimate, but let's say $1,000 a month. That would be $12,000 in expenses. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that number in. And you can see on the right hand side, now that I've entered those two numbers, essentially I need to do $133,000 in annual gross commissions in order to profit $100,000. My cost of sales would be 16% of my total GCI. My operating expenses would be 9%. The cool thing about this, guys, is you can come in and change these at any point throughout the year to get a better estimate of what's going on. Now, business makeup. So what percentage of your business are listings, buyers, or leases? And this should add up to 100%. 
Typically new agents are heavy on the buy side. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in that 60% of our business is gonna be buy side. We're gonna do a few leases because typically they're pretty easy money and they lead to future buyer transactions and let's say 30% would be listings. You can see that we have that makeup down below. And then based upon the price point of your market center, what can you stand to make as an average commission per unit? Uh, so right now the average home sales price, I think it's over 400,000, which is still amazing. Um, and assuming you're gonna get 3% on each of those two, which may be a dangerous assumption, depending on your market, you put in the number that works for you. But I'm gonna put in 12,000 commission on average for my listings, 12,000 on average for my buyers. Uh, leases, man, I've seen that depending on the market, could be as little as 10% of the total monthly lease. Um, in our market right now, it's pretty traditional to be about 50% of the average lease price. So you put in the number that makes sense there. I'm just gonna put in $1,000 for leases. Now we're going to continue to head over to our conversion rates. So you can see that there are some recommended rates already built in for your listings buyers. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry, for your leads, uh, for your listings, your buyer-based transactions, and your lease-based transactions. Right now, those are exactly the same across all the categories. <clears throat> so what percent of your leads that come into your database will turn into contacts? So right now, that's what that first question is. It's asking you, hey, a lead right now is someone who's interested but has not engaged in a two-way conversation. What percentage of those people will you turn into someone that you had a two-way conversation with? So right now we have that set at 5%. Of those people that you have a two-way conversation with, what percentage of them will you schedule a meeting with? Uh, so a listing consultation, a face-to-face -to -face touch to further relationship, buyer-based consultation, etc. Of those appointments that are set, how many of them will actually take place? So that is your set to kept ratio of 75%. Based upon the appointment actually happening, how many of those prospective clients will actually sign a legally binding offer or agreement? So we have that set at 75%. What percentage of those agreements will actually turn into something that is under contract or pending? And then finally, what percentage of those will turn into a closing? So you can see that's our breakdown right now. We can use the recommended rates or we can go through each one of these categories and change them based upon our current business makeup. If you don't know what your conversion ratios are, I would recommend that you go ahead and choose to use the recommended rates and then click on continue. From there, you're going to be able to review your goals. And so based upon the conversion ratio that we put in, the GCI breakdown, the business makeup, and the average commission, we're going to actually see some of our goals and what we need to do to accomplish them show up this is basically just breaking down everything that we put in prior to it. So let's go ahead and click on set goals. And from there, we're going to see that if we toggle to our 2023 goals, we now have some work to do. So based upon the annual goal that we set and the price points and commissions that we said we would earn, we need to close 23 transactions in order to net profit $100,000. In order to close <clears throat> 23 transactions based upon our conversion ratio, we need 31 under contract. In order to get 31 under contract, we need to sign 42 agreements. In order to sign 42 agreements, we need 56 appointments kept. In order to get 56 appointments kept, we need to set 74 appointments. In order to get 74 appointments, we're going to need 1,471 <laughs> of our leads to turn into contacts or two-way conversations. And in order to do that, we're gonna need 29,424 leads. Now remember, you can shortcut this process if you already have these contacts in your database. And this is just gonna show year to date so it doesn't count all the work that you have done previously. So take this with a grain of salt. If you already have 1,500 contacts, well, then you put in your appoint, your ratio is that 5% of the contacts in your database are going to turn into an appointment set. So now it's just your job to start marketing and prospecting to those contacts such that you can get those appointments set. So don't let this number scare you. Remember, this is how many people in your database that you are currently having two-way conversations with. 
if you're starting brand new and you have zero people in your database and you're going to do it completely organic by creating leads from Facebook and social media and open houses and uh, Realtor or Zillow or wherever you're buying leads, then yes, this is what the route would go. But remember, you're shortcutting this process by already having contacts in your database. From there, as soon as we turn right 25 days and 11 hours, it'll strike midnight on the 31st. It'll become the 1st of January. And then you will start to see your profit tracker come into play based upon how many transactions you have closed your profit tracker will start to go up. You're gonna see an activities breakdown here with regards to the contacts that you have in your database, logging your activities, sending out texts, sending out emails, logging calls, logging appointments, etc. You can also see your goal conversion rate. This is what we just put into place. So if you need to make changes to that, you can always go back and do so. And then this is our GCI goal breakdown. So right now, year to date, of course, it's not even 23 yet. So we haven't made any money, but this is what we need to make based upon this cost of sale and this operating expense to net this profit goal. So I'd highly recommend that you go through this goal setting process. And once you've gone through it and now you kind of see this, you can always go back and play with the numbers, right? Maybe you have um, a stronger set to cap ratio. Everyone you set an appointment with, they show up. So you could change this to 85%, 95%, 100%, whatever it may be. Um, maybe you're really good at once you have a signed agreement, you're going to get them under contract. So maybe you change that percentage as well. So you can play with these percentages and see how they impact your numbers and then continue to track that throughout the year. That's goal setting for 2023 inside of the goals tab of the reports applet of KW Command. As always, it's great talking to you. Hope you're having a fantastic day.